In the previous video, we learned about the relationship between the radian and the degree. Let me tell you once again, the radian and degree both are the units to measure the two-dimensional angle, the angle made in a plane, like in this, uh, this, this black screen. If I'm making any angle, suppose this is angle, let's say this is theta, and in uh, early mathematics, since early mathematics we are learning to measure the angle, you know, we use degree. Let's say this is uh, 60 degree. And later we learn one more method to measure the angle that was radian, like uh, pi over 3 radian. All right. So, uh, and after that we learn the relationship between this degree measurement and the, and the radian measurement. Both are actually the units to measure angle. And we came to learn that 180 degree is equal with pi radian. And then we learned how to convert degree into the radian and then radian into the degree also. So based on that concept, we need to convert 40 degree and 20 minutes into the radian. Here, I think this symbol, particularly this symbol, uh, might be hitting in your brain. This I'm going to tell you here. First time I'm discussing here. Uh, this is the symbol for the minutes. And that is one degree is equal with 60 minutes. Single dash, if I'm giving, then you have to understand that I'm discussing about the minutes, all right? and definitely one minute equals to 60 seconds to represent 60 seconds we give double dash all right double prime you can say and this is representing seconds so now uh, let's try to convert this this 40 degree and 20 into the radian to convert this uh, into the radian first we need to convert this whole entire thing into one uh, one format because here we have you know two formats like one we have degree format and another we have minutes formats so it is better to convert this into the minutes uh, this minutes into the degree so let's first convert this 20 minutes into the degree so it will be 40 degree plus 20 minutes let me tell you here uh, here what we learned that 60 minutes equals to 1 degree so I can say that 1 minute is 1 over 60 degree so uh, what about if this is x minute then it will be 1 over 60 into x degree and instead of this uh, x if I'm gonna put the value let's say uh, let's say 20 minute then it will be 1 over 60 into 20 uh, and then whole quantity degree so here what I'm going to do instead of this 20 minutes I'm going to replace this by this quantity all right so uh, it's 40 degree plus 1 over 60 into 20 this is also now degree now this minute get converted into the degree all right so now this is 40 degree and this is uh, 20 so uh, we can easily cancel 20 th three is a 60 so it is 1 over 3 and this is also degree all right and now uh, now 40 times 3 120 and then 1 it will be 121 over 3 degree so now our whole system has been converted into the degree so now we can easily convert into the radian by using this relationship all right what we have 180 degree is equal with pi radian and then I can say that 1 degree is equal with pi over 180 radian and if it is x degree then it will be pi over 180 times x radian and what about instead of this x if we have 121 over 3 degree then it will be pi over 180 and this x will be replaced by this 121 over 3 and then whole will be radian so I'm now going to replace this 120 over 3 degree by this quantity so it will be pi over 180 into 121 over uh, 3 and this whole quantity is now turning to radian all right and now see how we converted uh, our degree and minute format into the complete radian format all right so uh, further if I'll rearrange it will be 121 and 180 times 3 uh, 540 all right so 540 by radian all right so this is our uh, given uh, angle 40 degree 20 minutes into the radian formats and this is a way how to convert a degree format into the radian format I will be doing a couple of more videos that will give you more uh, a more uh, I mean concept to solve uh, to uh, to convert one form of angle into the another form all right catch you in the next video goodbye